Manga High is an online maths learning resource where students can learn maths in a fun and engaging way. This video covers the key features of the Manga High student account and helps students and parents navigate through Manga High to stay on top of their learning. By now, you should have your student login information. Follow the instructions given and log into the student Manga High account. If this is your first time, you'll need to enter your age, click next, select an avatar, click next. And here you will have activities that has been assigned by your teachers. You'll find on Manga High, there are two different types of activities. These blue icons indicate that this is a quiz activity, while these colorful graphics indicate that it's a game activity. Any teacher assigned activities, whether they be games or quizzes, will appear under the Assigned tab. These will need to be attempted first. Simply click on the activity, click on the pink play button to start. The key to success on Manga High is persistence. Expect that you won't pass an activity in your first attempt. In fact, to help build grit and experience growth in your learning, students are encouraged to attempt each activity at least three times. Remember, adaptive means that quizzes or questions will actually get harder. The quiz always starts at the easy level in your very first attempt. You'll need to answer three easy questions in a row correct to move up to the next level, which is medium. Answer another three in a row correct again to move up to hard and eventually make your way up to the extreme level questions. At any point, if you get two questions wrong, then you'll need to move back down to the previous level. Let's take a look. Answer our three easy questions right. Now, because we're getting three easy questions right, we now moved up to the medium level question. Answer three medium questions right again to move up to the hard level question. At any point, if we get two questions in a row incorrect, we move back down to the previous level. Where we move back down to medium and we'll have to do the medium level questions again. Now notice that every round consists of 10 questions. And at the end of your 10 questions, you get to see which questions we had right and which questions we didn't get correct. Now it's important that we get into the habit of learning using our mistakes. So click on the red boxes, which takes us back to the question and click on show solution. Write down the question in your notebook. What was the question asking? What was the answer? How do you solve it? But more importantly, why did we get it wrong? Create some kind of reflection as to why and how you can learn from it better next time. Once you've reviewed all your questions, close the solution and you go back to your summary page. You can also see that on Manga High, a pass mark is actually awarded by giving you a bronze medal. So in order to pass the activity, you need to achieve a bronze medal. To achieve a bronze medal, you'll need to answer at least three hard questions correct. Now, remember, we said that on Manga High, you are encouraged to attempt each task at least three times. This is our opportunity to click on play again and attempt it at least three times. Because we finished at the medium level, the next time you start the activity again, you will now start at medium and gradually move towards your hard and extreme questions.
To get a gold medal, you'll need to answer all 10 extreme questions correctly. Now we also mentioned that there are games activities on Manga High. These are great for practice. Again, click on the activity and simply click play. There's a whole different collection of games available on Manga High and your teachers would have assigned ones that are relevant to your level. Click play and answer the questions as required. This is just one of many games available on Manga High. Different games will have different game mechanics. So in this case, we are simply answering as many questions as we can to get through this tomb. Notice also that the questions do get harder as you get them correctly, as you answer them correctly, I should say. At the end of the activity, the program will tell you, or the game, will tell you whether you've achieved a gold, silver or bronze medal. Now the Manga High platform also recommends extra activities for our students to work on. This is based on any learning that you've done in the past and it helps bridge any gaps in your learning. So think of it as a tutor that recommends additional activities to help you make progress in your learning. You can also click on Browse All Activities, where you can access all of the activities available on Manga High, from K through to 10. So think of this as that library where you can do extra work if you wanted to. There is also the Game Centre, which allows you to access all of the different games, but beware when you are playing activities or games from the Game Centre, they have not been assigned by the teacher. So you can get activities that might be too hard or perhaps even too easy for you, but it's always a nice place to explore anyway. You can also click on the leaderboards to track how you're going in a school's leaderboard, as well as the community leaderboard. Click on your name and that will allow you to track your progress. How many medals have you earned so far? and whether there's any special decorations that you've earned. Now, one of the coolest thing on Manga High is for you to be able to track your own progress. By clicking on your name and clicking on progress, you can see the same analytics that your teachers actually see. So clicking on assignments, you can see how many percent of the activities that has been assigned to you, you have actually passed. Clicking on the folders, you can see these are the activities you have passed and when you pass them. You can also click on the activities to see which ones you've attempted but you have not passed or further activities where you have not attempted any of these activities at all. So of course click on the pink play button to go through the activities, pass the activity to grow your percentage pass rate. You can also see how many medals you've earned in total. So whether you've earned bronze medal, silver medals, or gold medals in any of the activities that you have attempted. And of course, you can also see how much time you've spent on Manga High and how many extra or independent activities you've completed on Manga High. So that was a quick tour of the student platform on Manga High. We hope you loved what you saw and cannot wait to see you start playing the maths activities on Manga High. Remember, the key to success is attempt each activity at least three times. Earn yourself a bronze medal to collect one point, a silver medal to collect two points, and a gold medal to collect three points. And it's these collection of points that places you in your school and class leaderboard. Happy learning!